Longhorn 5 Weather Report, supported by Burt Ogden and Fiesta Dealerships. And now, First Warn 5 Weather with meteorologist Andrew Chung. Good Saturday evening, everyone. Hey, we saw some scattered showers this afternoon, especially for the mid and upper valley, all thanks to the sea breeze. Not as much for you folks in the lower valley, but hang on. We are expecting even better rain chances over the next five to six days, and that is great news because we badly need the rain. Right now, things are looking pretty quiet, but let's rewind that radar back uh, six hours, and you will see how those showers started to move inland. Some heavy rain in parts of the McAllen area, Hidalgo County, western Hidalgo County, and northern Star County. Those have all either pushed off or weaken. I am going to leave in a very slight chance for a shower for the overnight hours. It's just going to be muggy otherwise and warm with lows in the mid 70s. Temperatures right now still very warm. Mid 80s, Rio Grande City and McAllen, 83 in Edinburgh, Brownsville, Port Isabel, and it's 82 in Raymondville and Harlingen. Here's your day planner forecast. Keep the umbrellas handy tomorrow if you're outside for Father's Day Sunday. We are calling for a 50% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the day. Not an all-day rain event, but scattered showers and storms possible. 78 at temperature at 8 a.m., 91 at noon, and 90 degrees at 5 p.m. Let's talk about the tropics. Here's the eastern Pacific Ocean. We have Tropical Storm Carlotta with maximum winds of 65 miles per hour, about to make landfall. Winds are uh, it's moving to the northwest at 6 miles an hour, so this will affect Acapulco as well as the coastal areas, uh, coastal zones of the states of Oaxaca and Guerrero. A lot of heavy rain expected for this part of Mexico. And we're also watching this uh, tropical disturbance. Now in the Gulf of Mexico, this has a 20% chance of development over the next five days. So we're not too concerned about developing, but the bigger issue is the rain that is expected to bring to the Texas and Mexico Gulf Coast as it tracks toward the northwest. Meanwhile, look at all the sea breeze showers firing up this afternoon along the Texas Gulf Coast. Right now, we're still seeing some good showers and thunderstorms out west in the Texas Panhandle and the Southern Plains. All right, let's talk about this tropical disturbance shown in the dotted black line. It's over the Gulf of Mexico. It will track to the west and northwest. And you know, Notice all the green appearing on the map here on Future Track. This is the European model. So tomorrow, it's still a chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms, but the rain chances will really ramp up starting Monday as that tropical wave gets closer. And there is that good possibility for some locally heavy rain Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday here in the valley. And we cannot discount the possibility for some localized flooding either. Where is it going to flood? We cannot tell you that at this time, but keep it tuned to Channel 5. But a good chance for some rain, especially for the first half of next week. The good news is that the high temperatures will only be in the upper 80s for next week, but you see a lot of yellows and reds indicating some heavy rain potential here in the valley of four next Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Then I think by late Thursday and a Friday, things will start to finally taper off, but the rain chances don't disappear completely. 50% chance of rain tomorrow. We're up to a 70% chance of rain on Monday. Heavy rain possible as well as for Tuesday. We have an 80% chance of rain Tuesday as well as for Wednesday, and then a 60% chance of rain on Thursday. Small craft should use caution on the waters overnight. We'll have winds out of the southeast at 10 to 15 knots. The seas are Three to seven feet. For tonight, we're calling it mostly cloudy, a 20% chance of some showers with low temperatures in the mid 70s. Then for tomorrow, a 50% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms with high temperatures in the lower 90s. Say goodbye to the 90s for a few days. Wow, look at this upper 80s for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But we have a good chance those days for showers and thunderstorms. Also, the possibility for that heavy rain, as I mentioned. Then we're back to the lower 90s for Friday and Saturday of next week. That's your first one five forecast. Now